Hello and welcome back to the Rainbow Library. Today I'll be reviewing A Cowboy to Remember by Rebecca Weatherspoon, which is the first book in her Cowboys of California series. So this book starts off with our main character, Evie. She is a rising star in the culinary field. You know, she's on a TV show and stuff like that. And she's at a party and then um, an accident happens. I won't give too much away, although, um, you know, on the back of the book, it does say a lot more than I'm going to say, but personally, I think it's better to just go in knowing as little as possible, or at least that's what I like to do. So she has kind of an accident and she ends up losing a lot of her memory. And um, because of that, she ends up going back to a place where she grew up in California. And um, she ends up spending time there to recover. And there are some um, people that come up from her past. And one of them is Zach, whom she had kind of, um, kind of, a, of a crush on, I guess you would say. And the feeling was definitely mutual, but they never acted on it for various reasons. And so now is kind of their second chance to fall in love with each other. And so that's the inciting premise of the story. And then it goes from there. So I have a couple negative things. I'm going to keep them quick because they're very minor gripes. So first of all, I thought that the dialogue was a little bit corny sometimes. Um, but personally, I feel that way about a lot of romance novels. Sometimes I'll just read a line of dialogue and think, I wouldn't have written it that way. But um, I haven't seen anyone else mention that. So that's just my personal taste, and that's probably not something that will bother you if you typically enjoy romance, which, um, you know, just to clarify, I do enjoy romance very much. It's just that occasionally I find a line of dialogue that I I don't really care for. Um, and then the other thing that I had was there were a lot of typos in this book, and I know that's not necessarily the author's fault, but I would just like to see the story get another, you know, team of editors, another round of edits or whatever because I think the story deserves to be cleaned up um, and to, you know, present itself in the best way. And last but not least on my negative list, I had the exposition, which I felt like I wanted to get a better understanding of the events that took place before page one. And I didn't feel like I got as much of that as I wanted, but it didn't really bother me that much. I still felt like I knew what was going on, um, but I just would have liked to get a little more of a connection to the character's histories. So now onto the positive side, which is a much longer list. I love the characters and I'm really excited for the rest of the series because there are so many great side characters in this book, um, in addition to the main characters. And I'm especially excited to read about Jesse Moore. He is um, Zach's older brother and he's such an interesting character. He's he's kind of um, closed off and I'm interested to see, you know, what kind of love interest he ends up having. Um, hopefully he gets a book of his own. I also love the atmosphere and the setting. Um, this book takes place on a ranch in California, like I mentioned before. Um, and I just thought that the setting was really well done. I could really feel, um, you know, the atmosphere of the ranch. It's kind of like, you know, peaceful and laid back. And I thought that was just really nice. It was really enjoyable to read. Uh, another thing about the side characters, there are a lot of queer side characters, which was really cool to see. Obviously, I love when queer characters are the focus of the story, but it's still nice to see them, you know, being there at all, I guess is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> uh, the other thing that I really enjoyed was the positive female friendships and the non-toxic masculinity that are presented in this book. I thought those were really great. There's especially a big focus on the female friendships in this book. Um, with Evie, she has a lot of really great, really close female friends. And um, some of them are even people that, you know, she works with professionally. And it's just great to see these women being there for each other and building each other up. And you kind of see the same thing with the men of the story. You know, like the three brothers, um, Zach, Sam, and Jesse, they have a really good connection. And it's, um, you know, it's realistic. Like, they do fight sometimes and things like that. But it's nice to see how they care for each other and they love each other. And, you know, you don't you don't see familial or um, platonic love between two men or three men in this case that often. And so it's just really refreshing to see that represented in a positive way. So those are all the things that I had to say about A Cowboy to Remember. Um, let me know if you've read this book or if you are hoping to get to this book or, you know, whatever you want to let me know. Um, 
yeah, I, I get distracted by this cover because it's so nice to look at. <laughs> but I'm going to leave it at that. And thank you very much for watching. And I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.